Well, we're not going to put it off any longer, Governor Kane. Uh, it's <laughs> first front page of the Washington Post. Yeah. Uh, a secret meeting, perhaps uh, today. No, with no Senator secret Obama. meetings. I have, as you'll see, I have my uh, secret meeting in the other room. My daughter and I are spending <laughs> family time to together today, and that's the only secret meeting that is going to happen. Well, are you being vetted by the Obama campaign? Have you turned over any documents? Answered any questionnaires? Mark, what I've said about this is, I, I have been on board with the campaign since February of '07, but I don't talk about my conversations with the campaign. You know, I save my advice, thoughts, etc for those conversations and don't really share them. And I didn't endorse Senator Obama to get anything or get appointed to anything. I endorsed him because I thought he would be president and should be president. He has a unique mixture of skills and talents that are suited for the very, very hard challenges that are going to face the next president. And I'm extremely gratified about how well he's done and especially um, how well I think he can do in Virginia, which, as you know, is a state that hadn't gone for a Democratic presidential candidate since 1964. So that's my focus, helping him in any way I can. And I think the place I can be most helpful in, in my current capacity as governor is helping him out in Virginia. If he asks? Again, I'm, I'm, you know, it's flattering to be mentioned. My mom loves it. She calls when she sees it, you know, but it is just, uh, that's for the campaign to decide. And the campaign has made very, very good decisions thus far. And I think they're going to make a very good decision. However they decide, they're going to make a very good decision uh, as Senator Obama chooses as running mate. And now here's Mark Plotkin to get to the bottom of things here. Uh, Governor Kane, will you hey, issue a Sherman, a Strickland, uh, that is, <laughs> if nominated, I will not run. If elected, I will not serve. Now, g former Governor Warner and Senator Webb said they will not serve. If Barack Obama right. calls you up today and says, Governor... You're my choice. Will you accept? Mark, you've asked me that question before. In fact, every month for about the last uh, 10 months. And I've said, I'm not going to issue any statement. Um, I signed on board with Senator Obama to help him. This is about him, not about me. I, in February of 07, I was a, uh, an early supporter and am very, very happy with how the campaign is going. But that I wanna, sounds I wanna, like... I want to do what I can to help him win. I, I do believe that my highest value is doing just what I'm doing now, which is helping him in Virginia. Because normally Virginia isn't in play. This year it is. And so that's what I'm doing, um, governing Virginia and really working both with Senator Obama, but the entire uh, slate of candidates in Virginia to make sure we have a very successful election day. S sounds like to me that you didn't say a Sherman or a Strickland, right? If he calls, you're not going to say no. Yeah, that you know, you you can opine, and and I give you freedom to opine. But I'm just I don't have conversations about my conversations with the All campaign. Right. Let me ask. I you. want to help Senator Obama win. I think he's the right guy for this country. Look, we are a very divided nation. The next president's going to walk in at the toughest time I think since FDR in 1933. Very difficult economy by many economists' uh, accounts in recession with housing, sales, everything down, high energy costs in two wars damaged and frayed relationships with nations around the world. That's what the next president is going to walk into. We need somebody who's a change agent, who's going to do things differently. We've got to have somebody who can bring this country together. Barack Obama's the right guy. Governor, That's why Governor, I Governor, let me follow up on this. Yep. Remind me, when does your term end? It ends in January 2010. And that, and Will you finish that? That's what I wanted to ask. You have a Republican lieutenant governor, and uh, if you should leave, then the lieutenant governor will succeed you and Virginia would be ruled by a Republican rather than a Democrat. How would that affect you? You've, you've asked me a question that had four ifs in it, you know, and I usually don't think that far down the line. I mean, I may, I may take a one five. if, but I don't take a three or four or five if question. So, well, you know, how about look, this I'm question? Just, will you finish your term as governor? I'm, what would I'm, you say I'm, to the voters of Virginia that elected you? Will you finish Mark, this I'm going to answer the same way I just did. Look, I don't talk about my conversations with the campaign. Well, this been, is not I've about been, the campaign. I, this is about no, your come on, to man. the come on. Let me, Governor, let you're, me, you're a reporter. You're well, sly in your boxy. But if you were so, Pontius Pilate <laughs> at the time, you want to go <laughs> the came in front of you. <laughs> would you have voted? Would you have condemned him? <laughs> Knowing what you know now, well, Governor, if King, you were Governor King, let me ask you an issue question. Okay. But again, all three of us sitting here, we're all on the same page in this. We're working hard for Absolutely. Senator Obama. We want him to be president. He's going to make the right pick. You do have some differences with on abortion with Senator Obama. Hey, I, did, I have differences with my wife. I mean, when we agree two out of three times, that's a good day. So, you know, that, that's what the Democrats do. We're a big tent party. We don't have the, the ironclad litmus test. We're not looking to kick people out. We're looking to add people. And so, yeah, differences among Democrats. I mean, what was it Will Rogers said? You know, I don't believe in organized political parties, and that's why I'm a Democrat. And, and, you know, differences can be a strength. And my final question, uh, Governor Kane, do you think the vice president, because John McCain is supposed to be so strong on national security, should have foreign policy experience. Mark, let me and tell you this. And, I hear the and, question. And second part, and should have served in the military. Hey, let me answer this. 
the Obama campaign has been very, very good, and they made a lot of good choices. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to presume to tell them what they need in that person, because whatever they decide they need, and it is ultimately a personal decision that the senator makes, I have great confidence that he's going to make the right decision about the type of person and about the individual he chooses. Right. And whoever that is, you know, I'm going to help win Virginia. That's my highest and best use, and we can do it for the first time since 1964. I got, I just have here, that here. good feeling. Yeah. About is, it. There, is there anything wrong, uh, Mark Seagraves asked you earlier, and I don't think it betrays any confidences, have you been asked for material uh, in terms of your taxes, uh, any materials whatsoever yeah. that you've handed over. Mark, what I said about that is, you know, I've been with the campaign since February of 07. I don't talk about my conversations with the campaign. Um, th those conversations are between me and the campaign, and so, you know, that's what I'll say. When are you going to see Senator Obama again? I have no idea. No meeting today by phone or in person. As I say, I've got my 13-year-old daughter in the studio. we got a date right after this, and that's the only thing on my, my calendar final for the rest of the day. To, to Governor O'Malley and to Governor Kane, having nothing to do with Governor Kane's vice presidential <laughs> ambitions or lack of ambitions, should Mayor Fenty be called Governor Fenty? I, I often call him the governor of New Columbia. He does. I do. <laughs> so that's a yes. Governor Kane? Uh, we, we've got to issue, we've got to resolve this issue that's of right. D.C. representation, absolutely, yeah. and, and we're strong supporters of what the mayor wants to do, and, and I know, you know, Governor Mayor. I think we're going to make a lot more progress after yep. uh, January. In the first year. In <laughs> the first year, as soon as humanly possible. We want to thank everybody for coming in here. This has uh, been great. Governor Kane, Governor O'Malley, you come in all the time. Mayor Fenty, we appreciate you coming in. Thank you. And this show would not have happened without the staffs of all three of your offices coordinating and with people here at Around WTOP like Mitchell Miller who organized like this whole thing. It's like the Paris Peace Talks. Uh, we to really get appreciate that everybody coming in. Mark Clock <laughs> and Bruce Allen. I'm Mark Seagraves. We'll see you all next month.